Hello, and welcome to Mathematics 125, Integrated Science and Mathematics, for the STREAM summer program at Bridgewater State University. I'm Dr. Matt Salamone, and I'll be the professor for this course. The purpose of Math 125 is to develop the mathematical problem-solving skills that you're going to find useful as a scientist, no matter which science or mathematics discipline you go into here at BSU. The purpose is that you're able to collaborate and communicate with scientists and mathematicians, not just in your own field, but in other fields of science and mathematics as well. Mathematicians talking to physicists, talking to chemists, talking to biologists, talking to earth scientists, talking to computer scientists, talking to mathematicians. That's what a healthy scientific community is about. And we'd like to encourage that, not just for ourselves as faculty, but also for you as students and scientists here at Bridgewater State. Mathematics is the shared language of all the sciences. Because after all, what science has endeavored to do is to measure the world around us. And any time we have measurements that turn into quantitative information, mathematics is a language that we can use not just to analyze those measurements, but also to communicate those measurements one with another, and to uncover the meaning behind the mathematics. Because that's what this course is really about. It's not just about mathematics, but about meaningful mathematics. In other words, we're not just going to do mathematics for its own sake in this course. We're going to do mathematics that's useful to the sciences. In other words, all the questions that we ask and that you'll answer will be asked and answered within the context of a scientific application, regardless of the discipline. The learning objectives of this course are, first of all, to be able to use dimensional analysis to convert and to understand measured quantities and their units. Second, to apply basic trigonometry to measurements of triangles, angles, and arc lengths of circles. Thirdly, to interpret, there's that meaning component, to interpret verbal and written scientific equations in their context. Fourth, to model scientific relationships using both linear equations and also linearized equations. Fifth, to solve scientific equations and to interpret the solutions within the context of the scientific application. And finally, to com compute and to interpret average and instantaneous rates of change and to interpret them with their derived units within scientific contexts. The level of this course is roughly in the middle between pre-calculus and calculus. So regardless of what you're coming into Bridgewater to begin in your fall semester, whether you're starting with a pre-calculus course, or whether you're going straight into calculus, this course will have a little bit of something for everybody. And as far as the prerequisite knowledge that I'll be expecting you to come in with, really a solid grasp of algebra is all that we're going to ask for. We're going to cover some basic trigonometry, not as much as a pre-calculus course will. We'll even cover a little bit of basic calculus, but not nearly as much as a Calc 1 course would cover. So my expectations for you are that you just come prepared for a learning experience over the three weeks that we'll be together. Come with uh, pencils, come with paper, come with a graphing calculator. We will make use of graphing calculators as well as laptop computers over the course of the three weeks. And come prepared to every class meeting. Your classmates and your resident assistants will help you to do this, but what I expect you to do in between our class meetings are, first of all, to complete any homework problems that I assign to you, and second of all, to watch videos like this one that will help you to come to the next class prepared to engage in problem-solving activities we'll be doing in the following class. A lot of what we do when we're in class together is going to be active, team-based problem-solving. So if you're able to come prepared for that problem-solving experience, then we'll be able to get a lot more done in the time that we're in the class together. I also expect that you'll come prepared to collaborate. In other words, to help and also to be helped and to seek help not only from myself, but also from your fellow classmates and from your resident assistants. This course, along with the entire STREAM summer program, is a real bonding experience. So make use of that. These three weeks are going to be very intense three weeks, uh, but I hope that you're going to get a lot out of the three weeks that you put in to this program. And finally, I expect that you'll put in a complete effort. We are doing a complete college course in three weeks. And that's very fast pace. It's going to require a lot of focus on your part. It's also going to require a positive attitude on your part. No matter what your experiences have been with mathematics in the past, no matter how excited you might be to take a mathematics course prior to coming to your freshman semester at, here at Bridgewater, I hope that you'll come with a positive attitude, ready to work together, ready to learn, and ready maybe just to enjoy your experience in the three weeks in your Streams summer program. I look forward to seeing you soon.